Guess who's back? Back again. Joshy's back. Tell a friend. Ha! Huh, I'm back, guys. Fiji was beautiful. Met some fantastic people. So a big bull of an arca to everyone out there. Let's get on with the video. Okay, let's do that, Josh. Ha! Ah, that means yes in Fijian. <laughs> First question is from Silvio. Hey, Josh, should I spend $500 for a date or $500 for charity? $500 on one date? <laughs> Where are you taking them? Disneyland for a week? The top of the Eiffel Tower? What are you doing? Booking out a whole KFC and ordering a bathtub full of popcorn chicken? Oh, that's a pretty good date, actually. Listen, Silvio. Listen, Silvio. There's an obvious answer here. Why not have both? Take your date to volunteer for a night at a local charity. It'll be the best, most inexpensive, but most valuable date you'll ever go on. Whoa. I just gave non-sarcastic actual good advice. What's wrong with me? <sighs> Snap out of it, Josh. Kato Hagen, Josh M8. Which level of SPF is best? Hi, K8. It depends on how pasty white you are. If you're like me and your doppelganger is Casper the Ghost, or if you're like me and people often mistake you for a white bedsheet, then you'll need the most SPF you can find so you don't roast like a lobster the second the sun hits your porcelain skin. By the sounds of your name, Kato Hagen, it sounds like you have some Irish in you. Therefore, I would recommend SPF 50 plus times two. Your skin will thank you. Philippa Razy, if Cinderella's shoe fitted perfectly, why did it fall off? Hashtag double trouble struggle. Say that three times fast. Double trouble trouble. I can't say it. Philippa, I don't want to sound like the grammar police, but babe, the past tense of fit isn't fitted. It's obviously fat. If Cinderella's glass shoe fat perfectly, why did it fall off? And in correcting your grammar, I also found your answer. Cinderella's shoe fat her foot perfectly because her foot was fit and not fat. But to Cinderella's disadvantage, the fitness of her feet meant the fit of her perfectly fat shoes didn't fit the fat of her fit feet. And in fact, the shoe fell off because of a lack of foot fat. I hope that answers your question. Philippa. Test bear. Hi, Joshua. I really, really need to know if hot dogs are sandwiches. K thanks, bye, K bye. Test bear, I can hear the desperation in your question. Question. This sounds urgent and of most importance. Yes, hot dogs are sandwiches, but they have so much more. They're a friend, they're family, they're an ever-present help in time of need, and perfect for a budget charity date. Or if you can't find a date at all, hot dogs are my girlfriend. And finally, a question has come through Twitter. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? Imagine a question coming through Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. A question has come through Twitter at Hi Josh. Danielle O'Donnell, another Irish lass. How can I get people from saying let's have coffee sometime to an appointment without sounding pushy? Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, Danielle, the classic we should totally catch up line. What you've experienced is a yes no. Someone is saying yes, but they really mean no. A yes no. Unfortunately, there is no way to combat this, but there is a way to test if you've been yes no'd. Simply ask them a follow up question. For example, if they say we should totally catch up, reply with, yeah, how about next Thursday? Now, if there's any hesitation, any darting of the eyes, a sudden drop in enthusiasm, or any reply that starts with, yeah, I'm just really busy at the moment, you know you've been yes no This also works for dates. If you ask someone out on a date and they say yes, but there's symptoms of a no, you've probably been yes no It's not fun, but hey, focus your energy on friends that will go on a date with you, volunteer at a charity with you, or both. Like the famous saying goes, if the shoe fats, Put it on. Put it on and go dancing. It takes two to tango. Okay, thanks, bye. Well, that's Just Ask Josh for this week. Leave your questions in the comments below. And if you ever find yourself asking, what do you think I should do? Remember, just ask Josh. Pardon me, boy. Is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye.